Hey guys! So tonight is the season premiere of Supernatural, which of course I've been excited about all day. Uh, I've been singing Carry On My Wayward Son. I'm super excited about Dean being a demon. I feel like we've seen everyone else be evil, but Dean really hasn't had an opportunity to be the bad guy. It's kind of hot. I'm really excited. They also mentioned at Comic-Con that we're going to be seeing a lot of familiar faces. I'm um, hoping for some Chuck. Anytime Gabriel comes back, I'm super happy. So let's fingers crossed for some more of the trickster. Kevin, I, I you know, there's a lot of old uh, Ash. I mean, I think there's a lot of people I'd like to see come back. It might be fun to do a reaction video. So I'm going to tape myself watching the show. Hey, if Casa Erotica comes on, you get to see my Casa Erotica dance. And it's really cute and adorable. And this might be really weird. If it's horrible, you'll never see this. All right. Starting. Mm, nice. Now. Okay. Evil Sam is really sexy, too. Demon's Trap is the new logo. Okay. So I'm freaking out because Cass is sick, which means Cass is human. And are we looking at Croatoan? 2014. Dean is not really Dean anymore, and Cass is human. So, idea, bubble, putting it out there. Let's see what happens, but this, it always leads to this, right? That's what they said. If Sam buys a white suit this season, I'm going to be really worried. <laughs> Jerk bitch with Crowley. What? Love you, Crowley. Love you more. No, that's not okay. Not okay. It's my best friend. My pop. Aww. Crowley and Dean are besties. How about you don't just trust random guys on the highway? Hmm? Just, yeah, yeah, you just, uh, weird. My car just stopped. You just happened to pull over. How about we don't trust that guy, Sam? Yeah, Sam. Sam, this is really is your fault. How's that chicken one? Okay, so my thoughts on the premiere. I have Cass and Hannah dealing with, um, rogue angels. Cass is by himself in, like, a dingy hotel room coughing. Hannah's by the book, and Cass, well, Cass's grace is going away. Cass mentions that he's feeling more human. So Hannah even says to Cass, those are human things, like the art and the love and the things that he's saying that maybe humans aren't so bad. So is Cass turning human? Cass and Sammy worked together, but it didn't work out. Sam, who was, you know, going after Dean, Dean Crowley besties, hanging out at a bar. We have all the world at our disposal, and where, where are we going to hang out? How about a bar in North Dakota? It's got karaoke. It's got karaoke. It's got a foosball table. We've got booze. There's this one waitress that Dean likes to bang. Really, that's your choice. That That's where you decided to go. A bar in North Dakota. Crowley's getting a little, well, it seems like he's getting a little uh, stir crazy, as anyone would, in North Dakota. We find out that, that Dean's been killing these demons and that they've actually been sent by Crowley because, you know, Crowley's tricky. He's still the king of hell. Probably looks like he might be getting a little annoyed with um, karaoke Dean. But we have Sam ends up getting kidnapped by another hunter who actually just wants to get at Dean, but Dean's like, ain't having none of that. So we got at the end, Dean abandoning Sam. Dean is kind of giving Sam what he wanted last season, which was, hey, I'm out. If you want to die, die. I'm not going to be here to protect you anymore. Isn't that kind of what... Sam wanted last season. He does not seem to have any feelings towards Sam at all, so you, you lose that whole dynamic, which is kind of worrisome because, I mean, that dynamic is so much a part of the show. It looks like in the preview for next week that Sam and Dean are definitely coming to a head. Thank you so much for watching with me today. Um, I don't really have anyone here to watch with me, so it's sad. Sad, Michelle. Bye, guys.